Do you yeah. play FPL? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah, um, we do. We do a little forfeit. Nothing like you know. You got to spend ten thousand pounds. That, yeah, that's yeah. that's awful. But what's the forfeit? What's, what's your forfeit? Um, this year, it's not as bad. It's uh, in Manchester. There's a, a stand-up comedy night where you have to try and do five minutes, but and if the audience think you shit, they boo you off or whatever. Oh, so you got to go up and do it. Loser's got to do that, and the winner picks. Uh, winner picks the stage name for the night. No, so, uh, that's good. Uh, to be it? fair, yeah. Proddy, you had something similar like yeah. that. Oh yeah, my mate had to do a stand-up night when he lost his fantasy league, and not obviously not a comic like yourself. So, but yeah, yeah I was yeah, going to say for you, that's a cop out. A bit yeah, unfair, like you just no. Because if got... I get given a hideous name, like yeah, I won't, I won't name one, but uh, <laughs> then it would have been awful. And plus, everyone knows, like in my friendship group, I don't want to do stand-up. So, so it's, yeah, okay, yeah. I get fair what enough. Yeah. yeah. But Why then, do you not do you not like the idea? Oh, that those nights are horrible. Like, oh, really? Because if after ten seconds they could just go, oh, this is shit. They're brutal. Like they want you off. Basically, that's oh, the whole. Point. Oh, so the whole point they'll is, take one look at you and go get this. Cool yeah. Do you still get paid for your five minute cameo? Oh, you don't get paid for it. Oh, you don't get paid. This that's, is a free game. Get, even if you win, you don't you don't get paid. <laughs> oh, you know these comics on these nights. How much are they? How much are they actually getting paid for? Proper stand-up like, comedians. Like, a, like, not even, yeah, proper stand-up comedian, but like, for example, I'll go to some in London, it'll be a little thing, there's like 30, 40 people in the crowd. Yeah. How much is one of them getting paid? It's like, my, uh, probably about eight years ago, my mate started doing, like, on the circuit, so he was doing 20 minutes at uh, the Comedy Store in Manchester. Yeah. And I think he got 200 pounds for the night, something like that. That's but not they, too but bad. they do like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then in London, Comedians will do four or five shows. So they'll do 20 minutes there, yeah. go to the next club. Oh, oh all in hell. one night. So on the weekends, they can Like make, a little pub crawl. Yeah. <laughs> they're getting, nice. getting yeah. bladdered, telling jokes. But they, yeah, in London, that's why all the comedians just go bang, bang, bang. And yeah. Like, well, and you didn't so fancy much. doing that. You don't like doing stand-up. No. Because you've was, done it before, haven't you? Yeah, but that was when... Uh, when I was, you know, young and excited and it was like, oh, going to Doncaster for 20 minutes. Yes, please. <laughs> Come on, Dad, drive me. Uh, and then and then I was just, I, I ran out of stuff to say to get to 20 minutes. So I just started making up stories about my nan. And, uh, <laughs> and she was still alive. <laughs> Poor woman. <laughs> what, are you just saying she's dead? No, no, I was, I was talking about her, her sex life and, and all this stuff. Um I was just thinking, it's, it's quite weird that I'm making this up and, <laughs> and my dad's driving me to the gig and then hearing about his his mum. You know. yeah. <laughs> she's at home knitting, but you're saying she's getting railed off. And mas yeah, masturbating. What? Uh, oh. You know what? Because that, oh. that reminds me, uh, so you know, uh, <laughs> Jamie. reminds you of anything? <laughs> 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 yeah, my, oh, speaking no. of brands, masturbating. Call my granddad. Uh, <laughs> no, because we had uh, Jamie Hutchinson on. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, who's absolutely class. Right? But he has this story <laughs> about how we um, uh, accidentally slash... Well, yeah, it was accidental, it was I think. Accident. He's uh, slipped on in his nan on her deathbed, right? Now, you see stories like that. <laughs> they can't be real. I don't know, you know. he's Because like I think he might be at that stage of his comedy career where he's resorted to making up stories about his <laughs> nan. Because there's no <laughs> way he's fingered his nan on her deathbed. Yeah. Yeah, I think the lie in that is the accidental bit. Yeah, that's the only bit really he's making up. Right. Well, you if know, you look at Jamie Hutchinson, <laughs> she's, on, she's on a deathbed. You've got to just there's what? <laughs> <laughs> what you've just got to give her one no, last it, ride. It, it's like you know you, the old the age old saying like, oh, I'll do meth before the, I die. It's, well, you want to finger your like nan a, before get, you die. No, it's not about fingering your nan before you die. It's about getting life experiences rattled off. For oh. her or for you? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely bored chip. It's a bit of both, really. Yeah. So anyways, the Nan jokes ended up drying up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, Sorry. Didn't have no, like don't, I don't get off the from Cal, you know, that was good. Yeah. But me and Jamie started at the same time. And uh, How old uh wait, you're not the same age because no, he, no, he's, looks... he's a bit older. Right. I was I was like eighteen, looking about thirteen, and Jamie <laughs> Jamie's about 21 looking about 40 <laughs> but, but yeah we started at the same point and uh and he wasn't he was he was all right but he wasn't what he is now yeah. now he's he's ridiculous um, so good yeah i saw him live last year and uh yeah he's he's really funny he said he could uh he said i could have a free ticket 
<laughs> yeah. Didn't give me one though. Oh really? Yeah. Did you end up paying for it? Because I because I brought four friends. And he went, yeah, I'm not giving you five. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, he's really really good. I said, what 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 is your act? And he went, oh, I just have a breakdown on stage. <laughs> and then he just had a he had a breakdown on stage. And like the person in the someone in the front row just got it. And you think like the he really really gets in the face about stuff, but it's. Do you ever, did, when you were doing it, were you doing like, was any of it like crowd work? Because that's the bit that yeah. would stress me out. That yeah, I had no well. no crowd work. <laughs> <laughs> that. Like, I'm not I'm not gonna leave anything to chance. Uh, and if someone heckled, I was like, right, I've got to come back for what they'll probably shout. Um, yeah. And then, because I think if that's me, I, I don't have the level of wit that you have. But if somebody just says, "I'll just pretend I didn't hear it," yeah. keep going. <laughs> yeah, you just shimmy around, you little earpiece, like fucking, yeah. scrawny bastard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mental that, and then yeah. Have you ever been abused by a comedian Whoa. whilst watching? Oh, okay, sexually. <laughs> no, like right. sat in the front row, mate. Oh, oh, no, nah, but I think you know what. So people that sit at the front row. I think you're begging it a bit. You know <laughs> what you're doing. So unless you like people that sit in front row and then are they like, like act surprised like why have they picked me? Why are they picking on me? Or they get upset or offended. Like that really pisses me off. And that you always see clips of that, especially what in the US. Yeah. You have a seat number sometimes though. Nah, no, nah. I went to a comedy gig. I had a seat number. I was in the front row. I got pelters the whole time. <laughs> what did you get done for? Bro, I was wearing trousers and obviously sitting down, they raised up my leg <laughs> and they were just taking the piss out of having ankle swingers the whole time. <laughs> oh, and it was like the worst part was. a top level comedian. It was, Look at his trousers. Nah, it was three separate comedians telling the same joke. Oh, really? Yeah. I must have been looking at you backstage going, <laughs> look at this fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what was, uh, who was the comedian? <laughs> Nobody. Was it in the UK? Or? Yeah, it was in Paul. Paul. Paul? Yeah, Paul. Wow. Yeah. Really? So they were doing seat numbers in Paul. That yeah, just seems like a place a, to be kind of like the equivalent that... of EasyJet where they don't give you a seat number. <laughs> it was one of them theatres that doesn't usually do comedy sort of thing. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. I hated backstage with comedians because they were all like just bitter and like, because you, you'd have a screen to see who was on and what they were doing and it, they'd just be slagging each other off. Really? And then I'd go out and do my five minutes and they'd come back, really good stuff, mate, really good stuff. <laughs> I was like, you fucking hated my nan stuff, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, you thought it was shit and cheap. But, uh, Have you ever had it where you've, where you've knowingly bombed on stage? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was awful. Um, it wasn't in Doncaster, was it? No, it was, uh, it was, was, in, it was in Manchester and it was, it was a Christmas do um, in January. That was the first red flag. And it's like... <laughs> 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 what does that? Yes, Why Christmas doing Jan? It was a uh, so it, it was basically like the company was based in St Helens. <laughs> yeah, at least I thought it was, and I was like, oh, I've got all my inbred stuff, all my nan stuff. They'd be loving that, uh, but it was only one branch was from St Helens. The rest was from all over the country. Right, and they're all like. Uh, <laughs> pharmaceuticals and they're all really clever and when I got to the I got to the place the guy went yeah a lot of the people here are Muslim so they're not drinking <laughs> oh. I, was like, I was like okay oh, no. uh, right uh, and he went yeah you'll be on in about an hour or so um, and I was I was sort of wondering are there going to be other comedians there was nothing um, <laughs> this is just you a jazz band completely. you and there was no there was no Unexpected backstage crowd. so I was stood at the, the back corner. wall ne so the stage is there I'm just off to the right I'm thinking this is a fucking lazy way to just stood there <laughs> and then the, the manager like the CEO gives them a dressing down on a powerpoint saying you've underperformed here 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 <laughs> and oh fucking hell I've got to follow this and then because there's uh, they, they do a reading from the Quran and then, and then it's like, oh. okay, now it's uh, now it's time for Stephen. I have to follow that. And there's n there's not a lot of comedy in it. Um, and I just go up, go up on stage. I'm shaking. Uh, I have a open, vision. Open with my uh, same opening line every time. And it was like, because I looked really young. It was like, hello, it's not a lost child announcement. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing because they've seen me all night. <laughs> Stood in the yeah. corner. Uh, and then I was thinking, oh, that's not good. And it was just going downhill. Like no one was laughing. Uh, and the guy who'd booked me was just, instead of uh, uh, 20 minutes, he was like, just do two more minutes. <laughs> so I was like, oh, all right, time to, uh, time to bring out the, the big guns. And I did my Ladminton stuff. Uh, that. That was about my uh, my badminton coach. That it was a paedophile. 
<laughs> and and when that didn't work, I just I just walked off stage with my head down. And a bloke came over to me and went, uh, "Hey, that was good. You do weddings." And I thought, "What? <laughs> what a fucking horrible idea that would be." Just going, "Yeah, this guy was shit at our work, Steve. He's going to nail the wedding." And, <laughs> and it was just, it was awful. I was getting so much pity. Like I was just stood oh. there in the corner, and the DJ, <laughs> the DJ was. Oh, what, you, the DJ was on after you, wasn't? <laughs> no, well, he'd been there the whole time, but he, uh, he just said, "Yeah, I thought it was good, mate." Um, but there was no laughter. So I know everyone that was saying yeah, it was good was just, just not laughing. Um, hideous. And then after that, I went home and cried. And uh, and I just, I thought, you know what, this is, uh, I need to bounce back. So I did that that five minute gong show two days later and, and I won that. So it's like, so yeah, it was just, it was just things were looking up for you after that. So that was, that was like the, that's the sad thing about comedy. It's like the same jokes, but they get a completely different, different audience. Yeah. And, even when it goes well, you sort of have that spike, then you, you go home and you've not got that. So either way, whether it went good or bad, I'd go home and feel sad. <laughs> so I was like, what am I doing this for? Um, when was this? Was this before you... You were Stephen Trice? No, this, yeah, this was... I was, uh, I was Stephen Lawson. Um, <laughs> uh, and then I was... Yeah, it was during university. And then I was doing all right. Um and then I just thought, sat it. The YouTube oh, stuff started YouTube. doing well. Yeah, uh, I'm going to try YouTube because you don't know how many people will watch something. Whereas in that room, you know, there's just 30 people and 20 of them don't care. 